Hey guys, this is Nick from bombonsai.com and today I'm talking about the necessary bonsai tools for proper care. So, bonsai are just miniature trees. Uh, there are many different types of trees that can be made into a bonsai. Just about any tree that can, uh, you know, can be made into a bonsai, uh, from coniferous trees to deciduous trees. Uh, almost any kind of tree or shrub can be grown into a bonsai. Once again, really, it's not genetically a dwarf. It is a learned, you know, learned uh, dwarf. The bonsai's appeal comes from the form it's shaped into and or the style it's been grown into. There are different styles of uh, bonsai, including formal upright, informal upright, cascading, etc. So these styles are just a few bonsai styles, which are pretty popular in Asia and in America. Now, to stop right there, uh, look at the link above if you're interested in how to learn how to trim, sculpt, and prune your bonsai. Then make sure you go to bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book or go to this article and click on this book so you have some different tools well there are particular tools uh, needed to maintain and train a bonsai one important tool is the concave pruner so the concave pruner cuts branches in a way um, that healing of the branches promoted that it's quicker than when using regular garden scissors so these are necessary bonsai tools for precision cutting and maintaining the aesthetic and beauty of the tree Bud scissors are bonsai tools they use to trim buds, hence the name, leaves, and small branches. It has short blades for precise trimming. Bonsai wire cutters differ from normal wire cutters in that they're smaller and they're, they have a very sharp, precise cutting tip for better cuts, especially near uh, branches. The blades help prevent cutting into limbs or branches that are going to be wired via the smaller nipping mouth of the tool. Other bonsai tools can uh, include the knob cutter and the root hook. The knob cutter is used to cut away from protruding stubs or wood uh, so one can shape the surface of the trunk and or the branch. It can also be used to shape the roots and other callous parts of the tree to make it more presentable. The root hook, on the other hand, is used to untangle roots when repotting the bonsai. Uh, this is more important than what a beginner might first think. These bonsai tools can save a bonsai grower a lot of trouble. No matter the task, having the right tools for the job makes a difference. The root cutters and a saw are some more necessary bonsai tools to cut and prune the roots and to shape the tree into whatever shape or form one might desire. So bonsai tools are uh, necessary for making a higher quality bonsai and they will help make a grower's job easier and less messy. Some might want to use generic and non-specialized tools which can also be used for other repairs or maintenance work to save money. This is understandable and all has to be uh, all it has to be uh, sorry all one has to be is careful since bonsai tools are smaller uh, are smaller and more capable of precision cuts compared to bigger tools. However, price is not a big issue generally, as these specialized, tool, specialized tools are often not more expensive than regular stuff. So it's pretty competitive. It's not like there are 100 bucks for a small pair of scissors. Maybe there are some out there, but I have a feeling they're going to be uh, overly ridiculous high quality. Like, it's high quality for the sake of being high quality. So that's all for this video. Again, if you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your uh, bonsai, uh, bonsai, then make sure you visit bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. And uh, I'll be making way more videos about this, or not about this specifically, but about bonsai. So stay tuned, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.